the narrative from everybody, all the media, the UFC, Joe Rogan, I remember he said, if I beat Vito Belfort, I'm next in line for a title shot. Michael Bisping has been beating the drum for a shot at the title for a long time. Now, finally, he has an opportunity. If he can get past Vitor Belfort... Pray to the MMA gods, Vitor Belfort does not enter that fucking thing, juice to the gills. Oh, he's Have you seen his tits to. lately? Oh, my God. Yeah. There's something happens to Vitor <clears throat> when he fills up with super unleaded. Dude, it, it's like... He's peanut a, butter and jelly. He's got dick veins at the yeah. side of his neck. He's got more muscle than all of us together. Like, some people don't, don't, don't do well with roids. They get all red and shit. He looks just... great. His skin's vibrant. His tits are popping. <laughs> he's it's... all tan. His teeth get wider. He was at a level with his testosterone that no human ever reaches. You don't get there. It's not real. Like, there's a human, and then there's this... <laughs> there's this new slot that you can fall into if you get just enough juice in your system. I mean, he's fucking redlining his engine. It's like, Bang! So he was going into that cage redlined. And uh, that's who Michael Bisping fought. When they were at the weigh-ins, uh, Bisping leans over to Vitor and says, Jesus isn't real. <laughs> which, in retrospect, probably wasn't the best thing to say to a juiced-up TRT Vitor. So this is a tough fight. You know, he's been knocking everybody out with head kicks there recently. Again, that left high kick, and Bisping is... Went down, followed it up with some shots. I was OK, actually, but uh, the referee stepped in. has knocked out Michael Bisping! I think he's a piece of shit, is what I think. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm getting my point across on how I feel about him, if I'm honest. Bisping was all over Vitor about that. Yeah, back in the day, there were definitely guys who fought guys who cheated. So it turns out that kick to the head from Vitor, that would soon become my worst nightmare. Can you imagine that kick to the head the from Vitor, closing my worst nightmare. Window. He just that's crept in like this and it stopped there. It was like the curtains had been shut all the way. And if I closed this side, that's all I could see. It was all black and then a strip of vision in the middle. And I was like, you know, you ain't gonna be a doctor to figure out that that isn't normal. So uh, I called my eye doctor. I think I've got a detached retina. And they said, well, why do you say that? I said, because when I put my hand in front of my face and wiggle my fingers, I can't fucking see them. And they went, yeah, you need to come in here right now. Sure enough, detached retina. I, uh... I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure that I still fight in Manchester. So, um, you know, it's just a, a bump in the road, hopefully. The surgery lasted over an hour. They injected oil in my eye. They used a laser. They put a silicone sponge around the outside and eventually reattached my retina. Dana White calls and he says, have you spoken to your doctor? I said, no. He said, well, I have. I said, right, OK, go on. What'd he say? And he said, well, I'll just cut to the chase. He said, you're never going to fight again. He said, he said, your eyes are a mess. Obviously, you know, that wasn't uh, an easy uh, phone call to take. Fighting was my life. Still, I never gave up hope. After recovery, I wake up one morning with a headache, but I still decided to go for a run. Then the pain got increasingly worse. The pain in my head was like nothing I'd ever experienced, ever. So when I got back, my wife called my doctor. A regular person's eye pressure is between nine and 20. They checked my pressure, it was like 90 something. They said they'd never seen someone's pressure as high. They said, go to this other hospital. I went to this other hospital, they have a procedure where they use a laser, where they can clear the drainage in the eye. And they give me some medication, they send me on my way.